There is so many characters that I want to train. With limited time that I have, I can't train every character to reach the level that I can share the experience with you guys. There is plenty of godlike players out there. If you have secret weapons in your hands, please share with me your experience. It's good to learn from you guys. Kenji Fujima will be awakened soon. Now is the best timing to take Kenji out of the old storage. Before Superblock release, Kenji can only play stealing or anger breaking style. For current moment, with Superblock ability, his blocking is real good, just like this. With proper abilities and threats, now his blocking is bearing. Okay, let's start to discuss his scoring move. The first move is Can Touch Me. If we just press button 1 for one time, it will be slow version. This is the best move to fake shoot and pass since it gives us a little bit decision making time. If no one able to follow up, then it's a wide open chance. If not, just pass. If we press button 1 2 times, it will be fast version. Both also can fake shoot and pass. Normally, faster version will be used when we know that we will be wide open. Oh, we know we can use it. An onboard defender is misposition and his team teammates are rushing back to the pain. That is the timing. The fast version snapshot has quick release timing. If his teammate is not helping out, we can do this whole match. Stepping forward is a great skill to shake away defenders. Similar to Roda dive in shot, but will not being bumped away by defenders. How do you step forward shot? Like normal step shot without moving any direction. Next move is Dragon in the Sky. We have two ways to trigger it. First is pulling our left analog backward while dribbling, then press S button. Second is driving fade away. This is an upgraded talent. After driving move is used, normal shooting button will directly change to fade away. This is the maximum range for mid range fade away. Remember that, pin this effective area to our mind. Last normal skill is catch and shoot. Simple yet deadly. First ulti move, tornado spin layout. We have to move one step forward into three point up. Then we just can dive to the basket just with one full drive. Then do a normal layout. Don't just go in like a straight line. We want to avoid confrontation. Next ulti move is Dragon Roar. If we upgrade the driving fade away, it can be applied to ulti too. After we dive in and step on the furthest effective area for mid range shot, directly press normal shooting button. It will trigger fade away directly. Okay, we have finished discussing all his moves. How to be a good Kenji Fujima? This is simple. What is his role? He's a point guard! Yes, you are correct. How to determine a good point guard? Hey, you, straight to the point. Okay, don't be so fierce. I scared scared. First is field vision. You need to pass to your teammate at the correct timing. Just like the showcase. If you can attract more than one defenders on you, mean one of your teammate is wide open. The second point is only shoot for wide open. You need to create your own shooting space. If you can score, your rivals just will put more attention on you. Then your teammate will have better opportunities. Oh, the is wide open or not? This comes from experience. Different defenders will have different running speed and blocking range. I can't quantify it into a measurement. It is based on our motion tracking. I can just roughly predict. When you are doing a fadeaway, you and the defender's distance is more than two character size. Then most likely is a wide open chance. If not, then pass. Pretty simple. When we master these two points, his offensive side can be pretty insane. We are not afraid of Maki 2. Just let go any drive move, only use step shot, then it's good enough to shake away Maki. But we did afraid of Ryoji Daddy. Any fake shoot move can trigger Ryoji. Touch your bobo skill. <laughs> Kenji is a character that is easy to master. No complicated combo to be remembered. No need fast reaction. Just need good feel vision. And the last one is stealing timing. Only touch rival bobo when they are being stopped or from the back. And positioning to intercept the passes. I'm using super bounce inside barrier and super block. Teammate trust, open shooter, and block shot are the threats. With these abilities and threats, you can block too. If you like the content, kindly give me a like and subscribe my channel. Thank you guys. I will be back.